Creating professional mock book covers is a fantastic way to sell more books. But what are three free mock book cover generators that you can use to help you on this process? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you these three and I'm going to use some of my covers to show you how easy it actually is. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. My name is Romney and I'm the founder of Global Self Publishing. I've also got several best-selling courses on udemy.com, so make sure you check out the link below. And you can also visit my website at globalselfpublishing.com, and I've got a ton of free resources on there to help you with your self-publishing journey. So let's get into this video now. I want to show you these free mock cover bookup generators because you really don't need any design skills or background at all to use these ones. They're not technical at all. Some you might be familiar with, others, or these other two, you may not be. So let's get into this right now. The first free mock-up book cover generator that I'm going to show you is called bookinmotion.com. I'll provide the links uh, in the description, so if you need to check those later on, you can. Let me show you how easy this one is, and then we can move on to the next one. So what we need to do is scroll down, and it gives you several different options to choose from. So if we wanted to create a mock book, up, book generator uh, image for Christmas time, then what we do, it goes customize this mock-up. So then it goes here, you then go select cover image, I'm going to choose this one's this one right here, and then it'll give you the image. This one looks a little bit stretched, but what we might do is go to another one and see how that appears. So if you wanted to copy this image, simply right click, save image as, and then you can save that to your file. That's how easy that one is. If we keep going down, let's go to this one right here. So customize this mock-up image comes up you go select your cover image let's try this one again and there it is it shows you the image straight away we'll just go to one more you can use you can copy the url if you want to include this on your website uh, then ensure you you include a reference to it just to help promote these um, this uh, group because they are providing this for free this service some of these images might be best with like a six by nine inch book cover image. Uh, let's try this one right here. So if we customize this mock-up, again, we might select a different image. I'll go and select a different image. And I've selected a different image for this one. So that's the image you can use when you're using this uh, different software so that one was called bookinmotion.com so simple and easy to use if we go back you can see it's got a couple of other different versions here as well uh, so you're free to use that one the next one i'd like to show you is called book brush you can use the free uh, mock-up generator for this program you can go to pricing and you can see that you can sign up for free. You can register a free account. Once you do, you then go to login. So I'm going to log in with my details now. Simply log in. And then what you need to do is go to instant mockups. So you go to instant mockups there. And then what it'll do, it'll give you a number of different options to choose from. So if we to, were to select an image, we're going to use this one right here. We open that up and we can choose. For the image to be square horizontal vertical or 3d so if we went 3d with this image it'll give you quite a few different options to choose from so if we scroll down here a bit further i'm just going to choose one that might be suitable for this book cover uh, let's go for this one so we select that so we need to make sure that we select the image we upload the image we go convert now we wait for this to occur okay we haven't completed step one. So step one is you need to select the image, select step two, which is 3D, which we're going back again. So we're going to scroll down here and we've selected our image and then we go convert now. And this will now convert the image and we'll see this in a moment once it uh, loads up. It doesn't take too long, usually just uh, maybe 10 seconds maximum. Download your image and then you'll see the image pop up and we're going to go to the image and we're going to show it right here. 
So there we go. That's the image right there. You can use this for all different sizes as well. So if we just go stop, we might try and do this one right here. We're going to go 3D. So this is a children's book as an example. We scroll down. We might use this one right here and convert. We wait for this to upload. So all you need to do is upload your image, select step number two, click on it, download it, and then you'll see that image come to life for you. So you can see it loading up now. Download the image. We're going to go and wait for this to load up. Let's have a look at it now. Double click there. Double click there. And there we are. That's how the cover comes up. So you can save that image as well. So that's a really good one to use. I use that one for many of my books. And again, nice and free to use. You might have different books that you'd like to use and put them if you have uh, an ebook and you want to have it on a tablet format. You can do that. You might have a larger high content book that you want to make look like this. So there's plenty of free options that are available for it. I like this book here. If I've, I'm just going to scroll back a bit. If I had, uh, let me just have a look. If I had a book like this one, then what I'm going to do is convert now. And I'll show you how the thicker version of the book comes up for our high content books. So we'll just wait for this to load up. And now we download the image. We wait for it to come up. Again, we select there. And we're going to click that one. And there it is. That's how the cover will come up. It looks a little bit different here. I think you just need to be careful of the size. It probably This is an 8.5 by 11. Probably a, a 6 by 9 inch would have been better uh, as an option to choose from. But when you do it, you just, you just need to make sure that you're not highlighting too many books. So at the moment, I think I've got different ones that are highlighted up. So just make sure you click one so that you just get the one image. That was called bookbrush.com. The last one we're going to use is Canva. So if we go to create a design, and we're just going to do a YouTube size, uh, image size. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to Uploads, and I've uploaded a book cover already. Then what I want to do is go to Edit Photo, and we go down here and it says Mockups. What we can then do is move this across, and we can go down to Print. So go see all, we scroll down further and we might choose this image right here. Now what you might need to do, because what you normally do is drag it on, but I'm going to copy it. So that's the more recent image, put it in there. And if you find that the image doesn't stretch all the way across, there's a little trick. So what you need to do is click on the image, go to edit, and then we go fill and fill will take up the whole picture. So you can actually see the image right there. So that's a great one to be able to use. If you wanted to, if you got Canva Pro, you can actually make an adjustment to the image size. So we might, uh, we can go here and we can resize the image and we might reduce it to, say, let's go custom size. We might make it a square. So we might go 500 by 500. And we go continue. Then we wait for that to resize. And we can open that up. And then we can go to this button here and just stretch it. You just might need to get the right size for this actual resizing image and there you have a great mock-up cover that you can use using canva i'll use also oh, i'll add the link for canva in the description below but you can start to use these images for a lot of different things so if i went to a previous youtube image then i can show you for example this one right here then you can see how i've used this image right here as a mock-up cover that I uh, used 
um, using book brush so if I just go to Canva here create a design YouTube channel or YouTube thumbnail and if I paste that image you can see how I've used the image that I created in book brush to create that mock-up image right there and it comes up really really well it's very very effective so I hope those three have helped you so if we go back here we've got free or well, bookinmotion.com we've got bookbrush.com and we've got canva.com make sure you use these and help your marketing strategy by having great professional book mock-up cover generators so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure you give me the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more insights into great ways to self-publish your books. And also remember to check out my Udemy profile for my best-selling courses and also to visit my website globalselfpublishing.com and ensure you check out the range of different tools and resources that I've got there. So until the next video comes out, I'll see you then.